I am so excited because Christmas is coming soon. I hope you guys are all excited. And let's go ahead and jump into this video. So last week I talked about where did wrapping paper come from? And then I was like thinking about how you need a present to go in wrapping paper. So who came up with the first like present idea? And so I started doing my little detective work and I think I found the answer and I found it in Luke chapter 2, 1 through 7. And it says, And it came to pass in those days that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This census first took place while Cornus was governing Syria. So all went to be registered, everyone to his own city. Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because of because he was of the house of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed wife, who was with child. So it was that while they were there, the days were completed for her to deliver, and she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling cloths and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for him in the inn. As I like read this chapter, I was kind of like a light bulb went on that like. Jesus literally gave himself as a gift and wrapped himself in, in, in swaddling cloth. Well, he didn't do it, Mary did, but he was wrapped and laid out for anybody to see who would who would come and to who would receive him and, and accept him. And the the thing that I am just like baffled by is that God didn't force Jesus to come down to her earth. He chose to. It was his choice. And and the reason being was because he knew that nothing we could ever do, nothing, no missions trips, no church attendance, um, no volunteering at soup kitchens, no amount of that could ever earn us a spot to see Jesus, could ever bridge the gap between earth and heaven and let us see it, that. And he didn't just look down at earth and be like, oh, I see you guys struggling down there. Go ahead and figure it out. Try harder. Like, no, like he wanted, he, he loves us so much. He's so jealous for us that he just, he wanted us to be able to receive him. He wanted us to be able to have another way out and have another way to, 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 to see him. And I just think that is like, it's so miraculous. And then the funny thing is, is how like the reason why I think King Herod missed Jesus was because he was expecting this, this king, like we would see the royals today, come down in this royal chariot with a white horse and gold trim. And, and God had a different plan. Jesus had a different plan. Um, he came down, you know, to be born into one of the stinkiest places you could be born in. Like we all know what a cow smells like and what lambs smell like. It wasn't pretty. And to be born into a very poor family. Um, and I just, it, it, it just so like, it's just so mind blowing to me, um, what he did for us. And I think he wanted to, to set an example, to set, um, like what royalty is really supposed to look like and what, um, he wanted us to see, like, yes, we're all royalty. We're all sons and daughters of the one true king. Um, and yet he doesn't want us to act like stuck up and act better than everybody else. He wants us to serve. And so this Christmas season, I just want you guys, I just want to challenge you guys um, to first serve others. Um, maybe you, you already do volunteer. Think of something else you could do or th think of something you could take a friend to go do or a group of friends or your youth group or something just to, to outserve each other and outserve um the, the people who might not necessarily be accepting of you. And that's the thing is like Jesus came knowing that then and, and now people would still not accept his gift, that they would look at it and say, nah, I can, I can do it on myself. But he still wanted to come and wanted to um, bridge the gap. And so the first Christmas Eve, the, the day Christmas started, the reason why we celebrate Christmas, because Christmas would have no meaning without Christ. Um, God declared, or Jesus declared the first gift, and that was eternal life and a relationship with him. So don't forget that this Christmas season, and just remember to follow Jesus' example and serve. I hope you guys all have a happy holidays and Merry Christmas, and just get pumped because it's coming and we can celebrate Christ's birth and the gift that he gave us. So thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next week. Bye!